Daily devotion with Pastor Bala for November 22nd, 2020 from Daniel chapter 8, God's interpretation of Daniel's vision of a ram and goat. Verse 15, when I, Daniel, had seen the vision, I sought to understand it. And behold, there stood before me one having the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of the Uli, and it called, Gabriel, make this man understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was frightened, and I fell on my face. But he said to me, Understand, O son of man, that the vision is for the time of the end. This voice is probably the voice of God, who directed the angel Gabriel to explain the vision to Daniel. This is actually the kind of the first time in Holy Scriptures that uh, an angel is given a, a name. But God does say something extremely important, that this vision is for the end of time. Gabriel adds more. Verse 19, he said, Behold, I will make known to you what shall be at the latter end of the indignation, for it refers to the appointed time of the end. As for the ram that you saw with two horns, these are the kings of Media and Persia. Verse 21, And the goat is the king of Greece, and the great horn between his eyes is the first king. As for the horn that was broken, in place of which four others arose, four kingdoms shall arise from his nation, but not with his power. Verse 23, and at the latter end of their kingdom, when the transgressors have reached their limit, a king of bold face, one who understands riddles, shall arise. His power shall be great, but not by his own power. And he shall cause fearful destruction, and shall succeed in what he does, and destroy mighty men and the people who are the saints." Wow, this last person is going to bring about the death of the saints? But remember what we know when a saint that is a believer dies, as Jesus says to the thief on the cross who is going to die with Jesus on Calvary's cross. From Luke chapter 24, verse 43, And Jesus said to the thief, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. So the death of the saints, while we may not like our physical death, is a gateway to paradise. So it's not to be feared. But let's continue to hear what Gabriel says. Verse 25, By his cunning he shall make deceit prosper under his hand, and in his own mind he shall become great. Without warning he shall destroy many and he shall even rise up against the prince of princes, and he shall be broken, but by no human hand. Notice that no human hand is going to break this evil. This should give us good news. It's not up to us to break this evil, and we shouldn't be surprised, because Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, he is the one that defeated sin, death, and the devil when he dies on the cross. Evil will be brought to an end, not by you and not by me, but by Christ. Finally, when he comes again in his second coming. So we take comfort that we have a God who delivers us from evil. Join me again tomorrow as we have a special confirmation edition of our daily devotion. And then on Tuesday, we continue Daniel as we hear about Daniel's prayer for the people. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching and please take an opportunity to share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois. 60544. Thank you again for watching.